Gorlomi? Lo pronuncio correctamente? Uh, sí, uh, correcto. The honor chevron for the old guard, or Eren Winkel de Otten Kempfe. This special chevron, worn on the right upper arm, was a prestigious decoration, a marking of great seniority for a Nazi. It meant you were not only a member of the SS, but that you had been an SS member and part of the Nazi party organization for some time. The award was given out for SS members who had been with the Nazi party on or before January 30th, 1933, when Hitler was sworn as chancellor. The honor would later be authorized for Austrian SS members once Austria was annexed by Germany. Austrians who had joined the Austrian National Socialist Workers' Party prior to February 18, 1938 qualified. The award was further extended to any SS personnel who were former members of the Nazi security services, the order police, and the Wehrmacht if they had historic affiliation with the Nazi party. The chevron was presented by the Nazi party itself and not the military. The award was for political loyalty and therefore had nothing to do with the armed forces, whose officers traditionally were apolitical and swore oaths to the constitution of the country, at least prior to August 20, 1934, after which all civil servants and soldiers swore oaths to Hitler himself. Do you hereby swear allegiance? We do! Those who wore old guard chevrons were nicknamed Winkelträger, meaning brackets in German. This referred to the shape of the chevron, and also that Winkelträger were supporting the regime, just as a bracket supports a shelf. These men were deep-rooted Nazis, and not to be trusted with any viewpoints that went against Nazi ideology. Even high-ranking officers were careful with their opinions around such men. This was the mark of a true baddie, and it's no surprise this chevron was added to ruthless fictional Nazis, like Colonel Hans Landa. <laughs> Infamous SS members like Heinrich Himmler and Reinhard Heydrich were honor chevrons for the old guard. Reinhard Heydrich joined the Nazi party in June of 1931, joining the SS in July of the same year. His SS number was 10,120. Himmler's party status goes back much further to the early 1920s, with him joining the SS in 1925. As an SS Führer, his SS number was 168. The SS, initially part of the much larger SA, was conceived in 1923 for Hitler's personal protection, officially forming in 1925. The SS would become an elite organization. The SA stands for Sturmabteilung, literally translating to Storm Division or Storm Detachment, though often just called the Brown Shirts. SS stands for Schutzstaffel, meaning Protection Squad. It began as a small guard unit known as the Saul Schutz, or Hall Security, made up of party volunteers to provide security for party meetings in Munich. It took its final Schutzstaffel name in 1925. The organization grew into one of the most powerful and evil organizations in Nazi Germany, known mostly for security, mass surveillance, state terrorism, and eventually having a military branch founded in 1933, known as the Waffen SS which grew to 900,000 men. Boss. The honor chevron for the old guard can be mistaken for insignia worn on the upper left sleeve by Gefeite. Similar looking chevrons are worn to show seniority by enlisted soldiers. One chevron would indicate the equivalent of a lance corporal or acting corporal. A double chevron would indicate a corporal, with a star added to indicate more than six years of service. These chevrons are easy to distinguish from the old guard chevrons as they are worn on the left arm and not the right. They also have a fabric backing. Said, War is a continuation of state policy. By other means. Though this can get confusing, there is a rare badge for SS members who had historic involvement serving in professional law enforcement roles. This badge is a single chevron with a star and worn on the right arm, just like the honor guard chevron. The chevron, either shaped as a V or inverted V, is one of the oldest symbols in human history and has been used by countless armies from classical to modern times. Most famously, the Spartans used a V on their shields, which represented Lambda, which is the Greek letter L. This was used to indicate the city-state where the Spartans came from, and not their rank. Spartan hoplites were allowed to decorate their shields with any symbols or designs they liked. But I digress. Where were we? If you see a single V on the right arm of a Nazi, what you need to know is they are SS and have been for some time, and likely are very bad. 
It seems that the Germans are bad. Very bad. You don't say. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thank you for watching. Particularly if you made it all the way to the end of my video regarding a small, single chevron. Take care, and have a nice rest of your day.